Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. Let's go ahead and see what clear messages and guidance come through, please, for my dearest Capricorns, for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Capricorns, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords, that's your energy, all right? A very difficult ending here. You see your person as the Prince of Swords, so some of you, you are dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, and you're viewing the connection as the Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? Your person is showing up as the Princess of Cups, so you might be getting an apology here, Capricorn. They're viewing you as the Knight of Cups in reverse, so not too committed to this connection at this time. All right. And they're viewing the connection as the Magician, something that they can manifest. Why do I get the feeling here, Capricorn, somebody here has really messed up? And it feels like it's your person. But I feel that they feel like they can fix it. Let's see. Ten of Cups in between you. Four of Wands, 11-11, soulmate energy right in the middle, and the Sun card in reverse. So some of you, you may be dealing with a Leo. All right. Overall energy, the Two of Wands energy in reverse. This is like looking at the past. Some of you, there has been divine intervention here in this situation, and I'm seeing a lot of people here involved. We've got the Prince of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Princess of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Hopefully it's just your energy, but there could be a lot of people that are weighing in on this connection. Um, there could be some drama. There could definitely be possibility of third party, depending on your situation. But somebody here has made a decision. Capricorn, you're in this sort of devastated energy of the Ten of Swords. Now, some of you might be like, well, I'm not devastated. So, you know, back off. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, a little bit of defensiveness there. I did just see the Sun card again, so strong Leo energy. But you've definitely had a tough time in love here, Capricorn. I also feel... You know, you could also have experience like loss elsewhere, like a, a friend or family member, something that's really affecting you as well. But I'm getting this energy of like you seeing this connection as not so sure it's one that's going to go the distance or one you want to commit to. Your person seeing you as non-committal. So they're definitely, they know that about you, that you're not sure about this connection. All right, but you've but what's happening between you is pretty powerful stuff. So let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns. Why is this Ten of Swords here? And we get the devil. There you go. So that's your energy, Capricorn. So don't be afraid. The devil is not always a bad thing. Um, but, you know, the devil energy tells me that you, you're in alignment. You're focused on you right now. Um and, and some of you, like I said, that Ten of Swords, it may not be that there has been a painful ending here. It could be something totally irrespective of this connection. Um, so let's see. You're viewing your person as the Prince of Swords. But, you know, this devil energy, he knows what he wants. He knows what he needs. He's very clear. Um, so I do feel you've made some sort of decision here. But it's, it's interesting because your person... I also, I get your person is a little bit like, it, you know, has their head in the clouds here. Um, you might be very different. You could be dealing with, you know, some like your opposite sign, like a Cancer or a Pisces or Scorpio energy. You're viewing them as the Prince of Swords. So you might be checking up on them. Um, see, you see this person as compatible. You see this person as somebody that you can get on the same page with. Um, but again, this person, there could be some sort of third party interference, which can be romantic rivals, can be another connection. It can be if you work together and it's against company policy that you two are together. Again, I see a lot of people in this reading. So I also feel like that, that could also be intervening. Like that could also be causing some issues here within this connection. 
the Knight of Wands energy in reverse tells me that even though you see this person as compatible, and a lot of my Capricorns, you know, the Prince of Swords is a little bit of an energy of spying, checking out on that, checking them out online, um, and coming to readings, right, for their energy. So that would make sense. But you're not so sure. This connection, you see it as off and on, Knight of Wands in reverse. Do I commit? Should I commit? But a lot of you see the value in this connection, um, the Wheel of Fortune, that this person is part of my destiny. So it's like despite this uncertainty and this kind of back and forth and this hesitancy to commit. And some of my Capricorns, you don't want to commit to this person because you've just gotten out of a marriage or, or a nasty divorce or separation. Or you're going through something quite emotional and you're like, yeah, maybe now is not the time. So I could definitely see that here as well. But your person, Princess of Cups, they've got all this love for you. With that big giant cup she's holding on to. It's got a big turtle in it. I love that though. This is someone who sees a lot of potential in this connection. Maybe coming in to offer you some sort of an apology. That dolphin energy behind her is like fun, lighthearted. And the Four of Cups. Interesting. Your person's thinking about surprising you with some sort of love offer. But I'm also wondering, too, if your person has been a little bit shut off, and I keep getting Cancerian energy, also strong Leo, Virgo, Gemini energy, Sag energy, the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius coming through. But I almost feel this like a bit of this Cancerian energy with the Four of Cups, like your person is kind of holding back, is protecting their energy because they know that you're not so sure about making a commitment here. And that's gonna be, there are gonna be different reasons for, for you, for many of you. So the Knight of Cups in reverse and the World card. So the, I, feel, I think your person is really worried that things are over between the two of you. Um, if you're in separation, for some of you, that devil energy, I mean, you might've just like really, you might've had some harsh words for this person is what I'm getting. Like really, like literally you may have burned them. I mean, not literally, but you know, you burned them with whatever it is you said. Um, but a lot of you, this person also is seeing that it's like they're hanging in there holding space. If you've been hesitant to commit Capricorn, it's like your person sees that like they can kind of win you over as well. It's an interesting message here. The magician card and the eight of wands. Yeah, this person's manifesting you. This person believes that they can win you over, win you back, get you on their team, get on the same page with you, you know, get you to commit, even if you're hesitant to do so. You've got somebody in, and there's that Leo energy, like you've got somebody like who's like, where there's a will, there's a way. They, It's like they want to make you your, make you theirs, Capricorn. The 10 of cups and the moon card. So again, more um, Pisces cancer energy coming through. But the moon in reverse is telling me that difficult times are coming to an end. Confusion is coming to an end. This person, if they've been sort of holding back, they're not going to do that any longer. They're going to be telling you how they're really feeling. And it does lead to your Ten of Cups. So there's something becoming very clear that's going to make you both very happy. Four of Wands in the heart of this reading. Some of you are going to get married or engaged to this person. Wow. 11, 11, 11, 11, <laughs> Capricorn, what's going on here? I'm seeing that you too very well, you know, either you already have children, but this, this is stability, stability coming your way. I mean like double stability. That's why I repeated it. Pay attention to the number sequence, 11, 11. Things are about to get, things are about to get real here within this connection. The sun card in reverse. And the Hermit card in reverse, yeah. So I feel like if you haven't heard from this person, you're about to. And they're coming in with some sort of communication that's probably going to knock your socks off, Capricorn. It's going to surprise you. They want to end. They want to end. They don't want you to be single. And they, they kind of feel like you kind of being wish-washy is going to... I don't know what they have planned here. Some sort of surprise for you. And the Seven of Pentacles, something they've been planning and they've been strategizing for a while to win you over. For some of you, it's a proposal. For some of you, it's an apology. For some of you, it's like a gift. For some of you, it's going to be like over the top. I'm getting this sort of very over the top Leo energy. Some of you get ready. This person's coming in to, to propose, you know, giving you keys to their house, um, marriage, anything. It's going to be big though. It's going to be like, you know, it's, it's going to have bells and whistles is what I'm getting. Um, so Spirit's saying your lesson here is I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. 
So Capricorn, are you happy? If this person makes you happy, you're on the right path. I'm seeing dolphins again. So that could be, you know, one of you know, your spirit animal or a sign that you're getting from the universe regarding this person or this connection. Follow your happiness and your bliss. We also get this energy of grief. And, you know, my guides are telling me just to go back to that Ten of Swords. Some of my Capricorns here, you have had a tough time in love. For others of you, you are dealing with a loss, like in the family or something. And I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. For some of you, there's been a difficult ending with this person. Strong reconciliation vibes here. Um, expect communication, but expect to be shocked. This person's going to go above, over and above to win you over or to show you that they care. Um, your person's energy is, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So for some of you, they may have really messed up here and I feel like they're coming in to make it up to you. Um, you know, for some of you, they, there needed to be some sort of break or separation so they could really see, you know, see where they were, where something was missing or what sort of behavior needed to be changed. And I also see this person is going to fight for you, Capricorn. They're not going to let you go so easily either. <laughs> and we get growth. Yeah, this person has been going through some changes. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Some of you, this person may have been in a bit of an immature energy. And that may be why you weren't so sure about, you know, investing in them or in this connection. I'm seeing somebody who has gone through some pretty major changes. And we get this energy of forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah. And I, I feel this person's ready to do what it takes to put the past in the past here, Capricorn, and have a future here with you. If you want it, it's yours. Okay. If you want it, it is yours. This person's going to show up out of nowhere. Hermit energy. They've been doing a lot of introspection. They've been doing a lot of up-leveling. I think they're even a little disappointed in their own behavior is what I'm getting. All right. So your person's energy is a rebirth is assured. So they're pretty confident they can win you back, Capricorn. Of course, that's going to be up to you. I know my Capricorns don't budge very easily, but a rebirth is assured. This person is also in a hanged man energy sort of that Pisces energy, right? We're like looking at things from different angles, seeing all the details and slow and steady wins the race. This person, um, you know, they may have been impulsive in the past and we get turtles coming out. So turtles and dolphins, you know, I don't know if your first date was at an aquarium or, you know, these are signs that you're getting from the universe, but turtles and dolphins are going to be big here with this connection. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. Um, but this person's willing to put in the work. And I think they've been planning something for a while here. Transformation is beautiful. So this connection is about to transform Capricorn. I'm getting really excited for you here. And now is a lucky time. Now is the time to do it. And we get life is speeding up. So a lot of my Capricorns, I'm seeing an engagement. That's what I'm seeing. Um, some of you might have thought, oh my gosh, this is over. Mm -mm, going in the different, going in a different direction. Um, but it also for some of you, you know, this is just things are going to happen really fast. This person has been planning something big to get into your good graces. Um, maybe they've been waiting for you to heal from something as well. Because I feel like this person, they've learned a lot. I don't feel like they're rushing in. They've been planning this, but they, they're going to come in big. That's what I'm getting, Capricorn. Just get ready. So let's see what your person's actions are in the next one to two weeks. And we get Queen of Cups energy in reverse, so they might not give you a whole lot in the next week or two. All right, we get the Five of Wands. Okay, some challenges. And the Five of Pentacles, double fives. 55 is the master number of change and fluctuation. This person wants to come out of the cold. They're probably, I feel like that five of wands is them sort of taming that ego energy. They might be a little bit sore. <laughs> sorry, I was gonna I was gonna say some, I was gonna say butt sore. I'm sorry, that's what my guides gave me. I know that's totally inappropriate. But they're just they're, your person might be sort of like with that Queen of Cups energy, just trying to like, I feel like they're working through ego issues here. And we get the nine of pentacles. Yeah, somebody. I feel that's your energy Capricorn that you've been you're like you're you're not you're not ready to commit or you've been sort of very hesitant to commit and this person they want to change this they want to heal things they want something stable safe and secure with you so let's see what they would like to tell you um I want you back all right I left when I saw you with someone so again maybe they thought you weren't like committed or there were some issues here 
be with third party and I don't know what you want. So they've definitely been a bit confused, um, but they feel like they can be themselves with you, Capricorn. Again, I don't think that's, I, th I think they do have some insecurities, but I don't think that they're going to stay in that energy for too long. Okay, my dear Capricorn. So I'm feeling good here. Some pretty positive messages coming through. Again, if it's if you want it, it's yours. That's what I'm hearing. I'm leaving it here, sending you love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box if you want a private reading. Um, also, my links to TikTok and Instagram and the cards I'm using. All right, sending you love and light, Capricorns. Take care.